Alright, so and welcome back to another video, and in today's video, we got two stories for today. Creecraft potentially being cancelled over something very, very stupid, and Roblox Bifron has actually made exploiting worse. But before I begin, please make sure to like and subscribe. I'm trying to get to 40,000 subscribers, so if you do end up enjoying this video, make sure to subscribe with the notification bell on. Also, uh, go follow my Twitter, it's on screen right now. I post some news and funny tweets there occasionally. Anyways, on with the video. So first off, we're going to be talking about the Creecraft X Darman you know, controversy, I guess you could say. Now, other YouTubers, I've talked about this, but I'm pretty much one of the first people to talk about it. And yeah, uh, so Darman, um, there's a little bit of background to, uh, behind this. Uh, it's kind of like a too long didn't read. Uh, girl shamed for playing Roblox games, feet Creecraft, Darman. And uh, if you don't know who Darman, uh, oh my God, Darman, best YouTuber ever. <laughs> best YouTuber, uh, best, best, re uh, best, um, acting best everything yeah so like a year ago um like creekcraft and darman said they were gonna collab but they didn't because there's been quite a lot of controversy in the past two months with darman you know they, they kind of went down, down the game fan route and didn't pay their employees so you know uh, uh, it's a little bit little bit dodgy um but yeah creekcraft apparently followed through with it and uh, i think he's perfectly fine with doing that which is a definitely definitely an interesting you know way uh Amon says no way they put bold creekcraft in the darman video lol ha 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 it ain't that funny. I agree, Chisel. It ain't that funny. Uh, go, go choke on a sock. Thanks, Amon. That's great. Um, and yeah, as you can see right here, it's just playing Roblox. This is the video, and it, it's got 4,000 dislikes as opposed to 40,000 likes, which is quite bad on YouTube, to be honest. Like, that's that's a 90% like to dislike ratio. Most of your videos, I mean, uh, unless you're like flat out clickbaiting, should just have, sh should have like 98, 99, 97, something like that. Um, and if you don't know, yeah, thanks for having me. This was awesome. Um, and th for some reason, they have like 30. 30 year old like people acting as like f 14 year olds it's just it's very weird like look at this person is getting straight a's while you're barely passing and uh, look at that shock on that face uh creecraft saying uh, thanks for having me this was awesome and that got hearted so it's clear they're on good terms um now if you don't know a little bit of the drama i mean even youtubers outside of the roblox space like critical have talked about this um yeah huge uh darman drama darman's uh, past exposed allegations escalate victims silenced um i was homeless working for him uh darman responds to actors protesting darman is in huge trouble and this, these got like millions and millions of views it's definitely safe to say uh that you know creekcraft knew about these i mean he literally reacted to one of my videos on stream thank you creekcraft you're based um <laughs> and yeah he like i made a joke about it in the the video i was talking about uh, is talking about it so you know he and he laughed so like it's clear he knows you know that the i guess like the drama behind it it's not like he you know did a bunch of mental gymnastics and just didn't see the drama which would be fair enough if he, he just didn't know about it but you know it, it's it's clear that he does it's lit is literally a screenshot of him laughing to it uh creek still did it even after the drama of him not paying his actors now i'm gonna make a little bit of a defense for creek um first off creekcraft has like seven million subscribers and th this like i this joke i guess this idea of doing a collab started like a year ago and i mean it's kind of cool for his audience so i guess that's kind of one point that you could give to him it's also entirely possible that this was recorded before all the drama came out i mean the drama is relatively new it's only two months old and they've been talking about this for 12 months so in that 10 month uh, time frame they could have recorded this and then just scheduled it for months in advance now it is kind of weird and it's a little bit telling that creekcraft never mentioned this anywhere he never mentioned the fact that he was going to go on darman which is quite a big deal um <laughs> imagine imagine if creekcraft didn't get paid by darman that no, that would be ultimate that would be very very ironic um so i, I don't think that I, th I don't think creekcraft had his bad intentions it does suck a bit that you know uh, darman is still getting support because he really doesn't deserve it i mean if all the thing is all the stuff here that it's true and it, it seems like there's a lot of evidence that it is then may maybe you know <laughs> darman shouldn't be supported and i kind of regret you know reacting to one of their videos on the live on a live stream of mine so you know i kind of regret that it kind of sucks to see this entire situation i don't think creekcraft should be blamed for you know another person's wrongdoings and you know working with them potentially 10 months ago you know th that's not their fault okay that's not creekcraft's fault um he still signed up with them even after the evidence yikes i i still think that you know this is not creekcraft's fault like please do not blame him for something that someone else does uh bro uh darman doesn't pay his actors what why is creek doing this what the hell and uh, no one cares about him anymore that's why darman died i don't think darman 
died, but you know, I, I guess. Bro should have thought about his decision. Schlepp says, Creek has made uh, nothing because Darman doesn't pay her people. Oh, sad face. Uh, Felipe, that does not look like Creekcraft. And yeah, the, the, the thumbnail, uh, Creekcraft looks like a wax figurine. It just, just, it just looks fake. I don't know, it's weird. People are mad about this because the collaborator Darman is, co is controversial and it's funny because this video is probably pre-recorded months ago and was just published today. Yep, I, I think I, I'm going to come to the conclusion that this vi video was like pre-recorded and Creekcraft probably didn't have any control or like leverage over when Darman was going to upload this video or like he probably didn't even know it's probably like a same sort of situation with his game where <laughs> creekcraft's game just released an update and creekcraft had no idea so great communication i think that's got to be like the same sort of you know uh, situation i i think i think darman and creekcraft just didn't like coordinate it and you know it just came out of nowhere anyways for story number two we're going to be talking about rtc now do you think that roblox has significantly improved with the bifron anti-cheat now if you don't know da um not darman uh, but Bifron has recently uh, released the Roblox anti-cheat. It's called Hyperion. Um, there's some evidence of this working. For example, a Bandite tweet. That's the only evidence of this working. Um, and 64% pe uh, people say yes. 35% uh, say no. Which is, I mean, it's better. Th that doesn't mean that exploiting is gone, by the way. Like, you will st still st uh, see exploiters from time to time. But they're significantly reduced. And I'm happy with that. Um, but apparently, Bifron has actually made exploiting worse. Which is not what you want so with the introduction of byfron's um uh, byfron into roblox's fist 64-bit client an exploiting group has released a script injector into ios devices ios cur currently doesn't have any installed anti-cheat measurements usage of su uh, such software may be potentially harmful and yeah uh, welcome to scriptware ios and yeah like the, the, you could literally use this on a mobile which i know exploits for mobile have been a thing for quite a while now but byfron doesn't exist on mobile devices currently so you know my uh, mobile Play, but players can just freely exploit and they just won't get detected by the anti-cheat which you know is great uh so programmer uh for, for bringing this to attention uh the original source wishes to remain silent and yes yeah, swag mode you got like all this exploiting stuff uh with roblox introducing um addition to uh, oh hyperion into their 64-bit client a well-known exploiting group has released a free, uh, free script injector eh what a well-known ios script injector has become free alternate uh, a free has become a free alternative making mobile hacking and apple devices way more accessible um now i said wait wait what like bryphon has made uh, hacking more accessible no mobile explo uh, exploits have been a thing for years bryphon has put uh, uh, the desktop side of exploiting to a complete hold for now free ex executors and injectors will most likely die out and the most popular exploit is going to cost significantly more so yeah um the effect this has is that you'll generally see more like, like less hacking and it, you'll see less script kiddies who just like install something on their computer like uh, like an injector and then just start hacking everywhere you'll see less of that you'll probably see a little bit more of you know professional i guess you know like actually looking for vulnerabilities inside the roblox software you'll probably see a little bit more of that but you know i, I guess it's kind of made it more accessible which sucks but you know what can you do about it anyways please make sure to like and subscribe if you're new around here and i'll see you tomorrow with another video goodbye